It's been a bruising final week of Parliament before Australians head to the polls for the Indigenous Voice referendum next month. Sky News can now bring you new comments this morning from Labor Minister Linda Burney. She says the last fortnight of debate in Canberra has been, quote, unbelievably racist. Minister Burney also says the way she has been treated is appalling and she says it's bullying. Live now to Trudy McIntosh. Trudy, take us through the context of these remarks. Laura, Linda Burney was on the streets of Cogra this morning, side by side with the New South Wales Labor Premier, Chris Minns. Uh, invited the cameras there as to watch them hand out pamphlets for the Yes campaign. But she emerged here from what had been a bruising two weeks of Parliament and she reflected on that to Chris Minns directly with the cameras there. She speaks about the fact that she believes she's been uh, the subject of bullying during this time, that it has been unbelievably racist, the debate that's been going on. I've spoken to Linda Burney's office this morning to clarify who she's referring to. She doesn't say specifically that this is the opposition, but it has been a bruising two weeks in question time with questions about the details of the Indigenous voice to Parliament. Have a look at the comments by Linda Burney. We've just finished two weeks in really Wow, OK. Uh, so those comments uh, this morning, this is after we've seen those claims of racist tactics from Marcia Langton uh, this week. That seemed to have died down, but then this will reignite things, I think, uh, Trudy. On the other side of the debate, the opposition, opposition leader has really sidestepped questions about whether he agrees with Jacinta Price about the impact that colonisation has had on Aboriginal people. Yeah. Yeah, interesting to see, as you say, Laura, he had an opportunity to just back in just into Price's comments, his shadow Indigenous Australians minister, but didn't do so. Peter Dutton instead saying Jacinta Price is a brave Indigenous woman, that she's able to speak her mind freely. She's been a successful advocate both internally in the coalition and more broadly uh, to try and uh, win over support for the No campaign. Uh, yesterday at the National Press Club, Jacinta Price asked specifically, does she believe there has been any negative impacts of British colonisation on Indigenous people? She says, in fact, the opposite, that it has been only positive. This was Peter Dutton and the response we've seen from the government. Peter, do you agree with those comments? Well, Sarah, I, I wasn't there at the lunch, but uh, I did have the, uh, the good fortune to watch it on TV. Uh, if you look at what uh, Jacinta had to say in context, uh, firstly, she's a brave Indigenous woman and... Uh, we either accept that uh, people have views, uh, a broad range of views, uh, or, or we don't. Uh, the left just say, well, we can only listen to people like Marcia Langton. I was really uh, shocked. Uh, I think that they are um, offensive and a real betrayal to the many families that have experienced things like the stolen generations. But the idea that colonisation in any country where there's been a colonisation process doesn't have long and far reaching effects is simply wrong. So you can see how incredibly personal this is for Linda Burney, Laura. She's been quick out, quick out the gates to condemn Jacinta Price's comments. So just the latest in the flashpoints as we wait uh, for the Voice to Parliament referendum, which is coming up on October 14. Yeah, still a month away. Trudy, thank you.